guys, I am here today because our results just came in from our advanced city water test from Simple Lab. If you saw my previous video of me talking about we're in a new rental house that is old and I'm worried about the pipes and the health and safety of our water, TAP score advanced city water test was recommended as the number one best water quality test on the New York Times list. So I reached out to them and they sent us one and I collected the water and I mailed it to them and it took about a week and I just got the email that the results are in. So I'm going to go through it live with you guys to see if our water has lead or bacteria or arsenic or all these yucky yucky things. Hopefully not. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so the first screen you get to gives you the overall score. So R says, Dear Heather, this is your TAP score report. Based on laboratory testing and analysis, your TAP score is 85, which is good. I will take it. <laughs> I can't imagine if it said like, I don't know, what is like the lowest score? Like deadly. <laughs> so our score is good. And now let's see if we could break it down. These are based on the guidelines established by the federal and state agencies, as well as leading academic research. The samples you provided demonstrate your water quality is good. One thing that's really cool is they have a live chat. So if you have any questions come up, you can just chat with them and hash it out and understand it better in real time. But hopefully I won't have any questions. There were signs of minor potential health and or taste issues. The watch list. Oh my gosh. Here's where we get into some like big words. I don't even know how to pronounce. Um, let's see, these are the most notable results from your sample. This is the watch list. We have, oh my God. <laughs> Bromodichloromethane, measurement 5.46 PPB, health effect possible carcinogen. So this is where if you get enough of these possible carcinogens or in high enough level, they kind of add up, right? It's just like radiation in the atmosphere and all these things, they add up. You're not going to get one minor thing that's going to give you cancer, but all together, they can really have an impact, especially like on little kids. So mm, let's see. At levels higher than 0.1 ppm, it can increase risk of developmental defects, kidney failure, liver damage, and central nervous system problems. That's above 0.1 and ours is 5.46, yikes commonly detected in public water systems around the country so it's often formed when chlorine chloramines or other water treatment disinfectants react with organic and inorganic matter in water it was also once used as solvent medicine and flame retardant kind of learning here <laughs> all right we all <laughs> chloroform there's chloroform in our water at 7.54 ppb and the recommendation is 0.4. Yikes. Uh, Long-term exposure to high levels of chloroform in drinking water can cause harm to kidneys, liver, developmental system, and central nervous system. I'm seeing a, uh, a pattern here <laughs> in what can be damaged by all this stuff. Yuck. Chloroform. Um... The EPA lists chloroform as a group B2 or probable human carcinogen. Ugh. It should be less than 0 0.08 ppm in public drinking water and ours is 7.54. That's gross. If these are like so far from the healthy level, how did we score 85 good for drinking water? Like how bad does drinking water get? <laughs> oh. Chloroform is often a byproduct of drinking water disinfection via chlorine. Chloroform has a mildly sweet odor and taste. Who knew? 
All right, and the other one that exceeds the recommended level of three, and ours is 3.92, so this one is very close, it's not so bad, is <laughs> dibromochloromethane, which is a possible carcinogen, an unregulated byproduct of drinking water disinfection. So all three of these are kind of byproducts of them trying to clean the water for us, and then they put these nasties into it, those are three on the watch list, only three. General properties of your water. These may not directly impact your health, but will influence the chemical nature of metals and other potential contaminants in your water supply. So we have a normal 7.33 pH. We have a normal 90 ppm alkalinity. We have a normal 198.9 ppm TDS, which is total dissolved solids. Some contaminants raise your TDS while others do not. We have a high sodium adsorption ratio. SAR is a factor in determining suitability of water for irrigation. No color detected, no odor detected. Pipe health summary. Iron is 0.02 ppm, which is normal. Good. Calcium is normal, magnesium, manganese, grains per gallon, hardness is normal, all of these are normal, hardness, calcium, and magnesium is normal. We have mild corrosion. The Langlier saturation index is calculated based on your sample's chemistry and is assuming cold water, correct. It's used as an indicator of the corrosive or scale forming potential of your water. And there's a, what can improve my water? So these are unbiased. All their recommendations for improving your water, they're not making a commission or at any way, they're not connected to the brands or anyone who's selling it. So their recommendations are completely unbiased and they just kind of trying to help you get healthier water. For us, it recommends crystal clear supply, whole house water filter carbon block, 10 inch big blue <laughs> is what it recommends. And it's likely to reduce the dibrochloromethane chloroform and bromo dichloromethane. Oh my God. <laughs> so the three things on our watch list, it's likely to reduce them. And here's the cool thing. It's not that expensive. It says purchase costs $40. Expected yearly cost, $3. What I need to check is we have a filter in our fridge and I need to do some research on that filter to see if it might filter out these things. Uh, and then it has some other options also. The Home Master 2 stage water filtration system with multi-gradient sediment. Now this one is $367 and 156 yearly cost. So I like that they have the cheapest one on top. It's like they know me. <laughs> all results, it's got everything like all listed out together and it's color coded too. Like I guess red would be a serious health issue, which we don't have anything, goodness. And then we have a few oranges and a light orange and then the greens and blues. Really cool the way they make it so easy with the numbers and the colors and it's like really clear. And if it's not clear, they have the live chat on the website to help understand. I love this. Next steps, ooh, share your results. They told me it was super duper shareable, so this is true. Use the link below for sharing your report easily and securely, so I could use this link to send to property management to be like, hey guys, we got some nasty water, you guys need to fix this. You could share it with your town to be like, hey guys, are you checking the water properly? Because our water is not so good. And you can save your test results, schedule a retest reminder, and learn more about your water. Very cool, this is like so fun and easy and really like helps reassure me that our water is good and helps you make it even better. That's that, that is our report from Simple Labs TAP score advanced city water test. So easy to do. I will link below our last video which was about the sampling process and I will also link where you can buy it on their website as well as Amazon. Totally worth it to help you get cleaner water or just to have peace of mind that you have clean water.
check out their website. It's gosimplelab.com or on social media, my tap score. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Be sure you're subscribed for more videos from us. We do family friendly product and travel reviews and we have fun, silly little videos of our kids and all that. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye.